Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new, I'm Melissa and I make fashion and beauty and lifestyle videos here on this channel and today we're going to be going over my empties. So these are all products that I've used up from August, I think. Obviously there's more products that I just forgot to put in here but I have a good amount going and how I do it is every time I fill up this bin, I just do a video for you guys. So now is the time. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. So up first, I wanted to talk about my favorite makeup remover. It is the Bioderma Sensible H2O Fragrance Free Micellar Water. There's so many words on here. So I prefer the sensitive one. I have used up a travel version of the hydrating one. So I like the hydrating one, except it breaks me out. So I don't use it. I just stick to the regular sensitive skin version and it is so perfect. It's the first step of my skincare routine when I have makeup on, it just takes it all off great. So to pair with it, these are the cotton rounds that I get from Target to take my makeup off with. They're the premium cotton rounds and I have three of them right here. And I'm only gonna be using my left hand today because my finger is still injured and I forgot to put on a band-aid, so we're gonna be doing this one-handed. All right, up next, I have a pre-shampoo mask from Pros. This is one of those brands where you can go to their website, make a profile, tell them your hair type, and they will formulate something. Oh, I dropped it. They will formulate the perfect formulation for you, so it has my name on it. So the Pros brand in general, I didn't love them for my hair type. However, a pre-shampoo mask, I found out that I actually love this kind of product. This one was okay in general. However, I'm going to be looking into some more pre-shampoo masks. I just got one from the JVN brand for my scalp, so I want one for my hair, but this was another empty. Used it all up completely. We'll just continue on with hair. I have the Olaplex conditioner in number five. This conditioner is great. I really love it. It works for basically all hair types. There's not a hair type that I've come across that people said it doesn't work for them. My only issue with this is I kind of hate the packaging. It's hard to get it all out and it's kind of small for the price. So right now I'm using Vegamore and the JVN brand shampoo. I'll link those down below because I think they're better than the Olaplex conditioner. I still have the Olaplex shampoo to use. So yeah, just use this one up. Up next, we have the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. I didn't really like the applicator on this. It was a creamy formula. I just found that the container got messy. I just kind of phased out purchasing Drunk Elephant products because I just feel like they're really pricey and you can get something even better for a more accessible price point from different brands. So I won't be repurchasing that, but it was good while it lasted. And I do have some makeup in here. I didn't put them into categories, so we will get to it when we get to it. The next thing, oh, it's another hair care thing. <laughs> this is a Living Proof Restore Dry Scalp Treatment. This is a microbiome balancing treatment for your scalp. I love the applicator on this. It's amazing, so good. This one is the old packaging. They've changed to a blue packaging. I wish they still did the white. I really liked this. I have a very sensitive scalp, so I put this on after I shower or right before I shower just to give it some extra nourishment before I shampoo. So I've already repurchased this, so it definitely is a good one. All right, up next, we have a Skin Fix product. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Peptide Cream. I love this stuff. I love the pump. You like press this down and the product is supposed to come out the top. I think this is an amazing, amazing formula. It's really good for winter. Skin Fix as a brand in general, you know I've talked about them here on my channel before. I really like them. They have amazing ingredients. They work perfect for my skin. I'm not gonna repurchase this only because it is a little pricey and I have other things I wanna try right now. However, if my skin starts breaking out from my current routine and my skin gets drier from the winter, I will be repurchasing this 100%. What do I want to show you? All right, we'll move into some makeup. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Setting Spray. It is supposed to grip set and refresh. I got the travel size of this. This is not the full size. I thought this was okay. I feel like the applicator was a little bit aggressive and it was like a dual formula. So there was like an oil and a water, like a bilayer. I am not a huge fan of this. I just feel like it looked splotchy when I set my face and I have other ones that I use that I prefer way more like the Charlotte Tilbury and the Lily Lolo one. So this one is going to not be repurchased for me but it was fun while it lasted and it smelled kind of good. Along the lines of more spray products, this is the Honest Beauty Hydration Mist. I use this as a toner right after the shower before I put on my serum or anything. This was good for dry skin except I feel like it didn't do a ton. It smelled good. It didn't break me out at all. 
I just, I don't have like a huge opinion on this. I don't feel like it was like this magical product that everybody needs to go round out and buy. However, if you just want to add a refreshing mist, this one is a good option. I really like the packaging. It's kind of sleek and I loved the spray nozzle. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this, but I will keep it in my back pocket for a product if I want it later on. I don't know why I included this. I guess I needed you to see that I used up a Trader Joe's hand sanitizer. This is the grapefruit and lemon one. This one is really strongly scented, so I'm probably not gonna repurchase these. I purchased all of the link ones down below that I really love. I got them on Amazon. They're like a birthday cake scent, but in reality, they just kind of smell like nothing and that's what I love. So yeah, will not be repurchasing this, even though it's a good standard spray. If you like lemon and grapefruit, then definitely pick it up. I mentioned this product before and how I loved it so much and I actually used it all up. This is the Vanelle Perfume by, the brand is called like Outreme or something. I get it from Anthropology. It's really affordable. It's a super accessible product. I love this so, so much. It's my favorite vanilla perfume. You can wear it alone or you can layer it. I've talked about it multiple times. I already have a backup of this, so I'm not gonna repurchase it yet, but I 100% am going to repurchase it once that one gets low. I buy it in bulk, so I buy multiples. <laughs> this is just my favorite, favorite perfume that it never fails me. Like no matter what mood I'm in, I can spray this on and I love it. I just have three samples in here to show you, so we'll move through these so fast because who cares? This is the Volition Beauty Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I have nothing to say about it because I used it once, I don't remember it. I have the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. I've used this before in the regular size and I really liked it, so that's why I used up the sample. Indie Lee is another clean beauty brand, which worked for me in the past, so if you're looking for that, go check them out. And then, oh, this one. This is the Shawnee Darden Intensive Eye Renewal Cream with Firming Peptides. So after I used this once, I realized that this formula was spectacular. So I went and bought the full size during the Sephora sale. So this is a time where a sample truly did work for me and it got me to purchase the product. I just could tell from one use that it was absolutely amazing. It's super thick and hydrating, but it eventually sinks into your skin overnight. So you wake up just hydrated and refreshed. 100% recommend. I'm gonna link the product down below because this was a good one. I didn't realize I had another spray in here. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Nutrient Water Misting Tonic. What do I wanna say about this? This says it has coconut, cucumber, and rose water, hydrates, prep, and blah, blah, blah. So this one, just like the other product, it offered more hydration than the Honest Beauty product. However, I just feel like these spray-on toners are kind of useless in my routine. I've now opted for a toner that actually is supposed to soften my skin. And then if I need hydration, I'll go in with a hyaluronic acid. So I'm trying to be super targeted with my approach to my skincare. So this was great. If you just have dry skin and you want to spray in general, I probably would recommend this one over the Honest Beauty one. It was great, clean ingredients. I have had two or three of these, so this isn't the first one I purchased. Honestly, I might pick it up again because it's kind of affordable and it was super refreshing, but I think this is more of a summer product for me. When I don't want to like, whoa. When I don't want to hydrate my skin with heavy products, this is a super light mist, so it works out great. If you're oily too, this might work for you in the winter. All right, up next we have another hair care product. This is the Josh Rosebrook Serum Spray. It has just, I, I didn't use it up completely. There's still some in here. I just found out that like every time I used it, the smell was so strong that I absolutely despise using this. So after having this in my collection for two years, I'm like, it just needs to go. Like, I don't know why I'm hanging on to this. I'm never gonna use it up. It's never a pleasure to use this product. It smells so bad. Not a fan. <laughs> Highly do not recommend. All right, next product. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Cream with Hydrating Honey and Gentle Flower Acids. The names on these are getting longer and longer and longer by the day. This is a serum. Like I just said, it has AHAs in it. So it is slightly exfoliating and slightly hydrating from the honey. I really, really liked this product from Pharmacy. I just found it to be so, so pricey for what you get. If this is on sale, I'll pick it up, but I don't really wanna pay full price for this, like ever. I think I bought this for my birthday in my Sephora haul that I did last year. So it's good, I used it up completely. If one happened to fall into my collection again, I would 100% use it up. It's just kind of pricey in my opinion for what it is. Up next, I have more makeup products. So these are the Stila 
glitter and glow eyeshadows. I have it in Diamond Dust and Karma Kitten. These are just a super sparkly, glittery top coat. This, I bought these together in a little set, I wanna say two years ago. I really, really love the formula. These ended up drying out on me before I could 100% use them up because I wear them so much though. I've already repurchased them in the full size. They're just so awesome and the mini ones lasted me two years. So these are really affordable at the end of the day. They last so long. Every time I wear a glittery eyeshadow look, it's probably a 99% chance that these are on my eyes. All right, so this is another product that I I didn't use up. I just hated it so much. I had to talk about it. It is the Ico Sport Waterproof Mascara. This mascara, like, if you need something that is not going to come off your lashes no matter what you do to it, then get this mascara. This will work for you. Literally, I used every single entire face wash, makeup remover, anything that I had. I even tried shampoo. I could not get this off my eyelashes. And because I was scrubbing it so much, it made my eyes so uncomfortable and irritated. The mascara itself didn't make my eyes irritated. It was just like the constant trying to get it off. So if you have an event you need to go to or you don't want to cry your mascara off, this is definitely the one for you. Now onto a less offensive mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, the lash sensational one. So this went like viral on TikTok. I'm not 100% sure why. I really like it as far as just having a go-to drugstore mascara to use, but I don't find it to be exceptional and I don't find it better than high-end mascaras. I feel like I prefer the YSL mascara, the Milk Cosmetics mascara over this one any day. The applicator is a little bit flimsy, so you can't get a ton of buildup of product on your lashes if your lashes are thinner. And also it randomly, towards the end of its life, started getting super, super messy, and I don't know why, so yeah. Will I be repurchasing it? I don't entirely know. All right, up next we have the Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick with encapsulated retinol peptides. So this product I used up, however, I'm probably not gonna repurchase it. I have that Shawnee Darden eye cream now that I love so much, and I have her retinol serum that I've been testing out this month. I love those two products dearly, so I don't see the need for this. Like the packaging drew me in at first that you could just like swipe it on your eyes. It just didn't seem super hygienic. So that's why I prefer the eye cream that I'm now using that has a little pump because I don't like dipping into products over and over. It just grosses me out. Okay, last product that I've used up is this teeny little mini. I got this in one of the advent calendars from Look Fantastic. This is the BioEffect EGF Serum. I had to use it up because I was so intrigued by this. It was just this little glass vial with a clear liquid inside. And when I looked into it, it was extremely expensive. It was like $185, I think, for an ounce, something insane. So I had to try it out and it actually was amazing. <laughs> it was so good. Just my uh, probably like weeks worth of use out of this, my skin had felt softer than ever. It was amazing. It was super hydrating, super thin. It layered well with all of my other skincare that I was using. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it because it was so expensive, but I really love the concept. And if I find a really good deal on this, I'll pick it up in the future. But for now, it's going to go into the product graveyard. All right, you guys, that is it. That is all that I have to show you for today. I know this video is a little bit shorter than my other ones. And I did a poll and asked you guys if you wanted to see this video or what I got in a month for PR, what PR I got in the month. I asked you in the poll, you can go check it out. It was 50-50 this morning when I woke up as far as what you wanted to see, so I chose this video. And then when I checked again a little bit later, the other video actually had one out, but I already prepped for this one. So I'm going to be filming that video next week because I have two more PR packages coming in, so I just wanna include it all in one video. So that is coming very, very soon, and it's gonna be finals week, so I'm going to be stressed and I'm gonna to wanna to open some packages. But thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. It really helps me out so I can keep this channel going, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.